started okay welcome gajendra how are you doing yeah doing good shashi and yeah thank you for uh, inviting me for your uh, series candid Con conversations and i'm like very quite, quite delighted and honored to be here thank you yeah. welcome so uh, before i ask you to introduce yourself i will introduce you hmm. <laughs> so yeah uh, as i told you before also you are the first person from whom i learned right you used to come to this cognizant office to deliver all these trainings and from there i started knowing you and we had this uh, very crazy uh, crazy things since in, going inside our brain and then used to clarify all the doubts whatever you have right so uh, that uh, i still remember that watermark so that watermark concept that we came to know okay in the journey builder that it came from you right so the question was uh, we have that no entry in the journey builder but still why that uh, uh, subscribers are again flowing into the journey so you explain that and you know still that is ingrained in my brain that was the first <laughs> clarification that we sought out from you so a lot of memories are there with you so before going in diving into those memories let me uh, ask you to give your you know uh, tell tell us about yourself like uh, we'll let's start from your from your childhood days okay whatever you want i want because my conversation i'll let me be very candid because this is a candid conversation right yeah. so uh, i like people open up and then i go with the same flow what they are discussing rather than uh, i don't strategize i don't know you know i don't know how to strategize or say i want to frame this question this way i know it's only on the flow so uh, how yeah. you how you are going to respond how you are going to basically make the conversation uh, is up to you <laughs> yep, definitely so yeah uh those were like good old days uh, shashi like what you mentioned like i could like go back in 2017 18 when we first time met it had been almost 5 years and last met or when we first met and talked about all these uh, concepts so uh, so i am born and brought up in uh, jaipur uh, shashi so right now also i am in jaipur uh, so okay. i am a remote worker with salesforce uh, and uh, currently i am at jaipur rajasthan and uh, uh, i did my uh, bachelor's of engineering in electronics and communication uh, that was not a great choice being honest because i didn't had you know much interest towards all the uh, engineering concepts i learned that time uh, some way or the other i did had uh, inclination towards marketing and those kind of things that okay how can we be more creative into our approach and all and uh, after working with the company for almost 2 years i went ahead and did my mba in marketing and strategy so i did my mba from a college called uh, great lakes chennai uh, it was a yeah one year executive mba course which i did and i'm talking about uh, 2012 13 so this year marks a full decade of me passing out of my mba college and 2 3 years i worked into an it company so largely speaking when i always introduce myself and when i talk to one of my close friends and all uh, when they ask okay like what is your career approach or what are you into and all i always say okay my uh, my my day job is to how i can simplify things for people who are uh, you know sometime new or sometime pretty experienced into a particular technical field but my goal is to how we can simplify things and make people gain more value out of what they are out here for so that is where i actually start from uh, in terms of okay what i'm doing right now so i am at salesforce uh, so my designation say i'm the global lead for bbc solution architect program and before that for almost 4 uh, years i was into the marketing cloud domain so that used to be my prime expertise and uh, that's where we actually met and i used to work very closely with partners like congregate and many more and i used to get a chance to interact with bright folks like you and others so hmm. that's where we are <laughs> right now yeah jaipur is one of the beautiful city in india yeah yeah definitely i mean right. uh, yeah when i am so like right now thankful that okay i'm getting an opportunity to like stay uh, at jaipur 
with my parents and uh, so i got a 2 year old daughter she's also getting in uh, what to say a good time to spend with their grandparents and relatives around so i i mm. i totally appreciate the opportunity i'm getting uh, so uh, for your 2 years daughter right yes. if you have to yeah. give her some advice uh, regarding career okay once it grows up and under, start understanding what will be your advice to your daughter <laughs> uh i mean this is something which i you know learned quite recently and that is what i'm you know kind of sticking with all over uh, she is like if i have to give one advice to my daughter or about anyone like who is asking for anything it is something like uh enthusiasm is more important than talent just to say that i mean even if i'm talented into a certain job and all but i'm not in and I, and and i'm doing it very passionately and all but after 2 years 3 years when my interest is going down my efficiency mm. will also you know be no longer mm. there and i and i last and i start missing out points and all but if i'm enthusiastic into a certain activity even if it is 5 years 6 years i am to that place if, even if i'm like half skilled but if i'm enthusiastic i will learn all of that part and i like mm. to succeed into my career also so mm. i actually learned it uh, good or or a easier hard way but definitely that is what i am kind of sticking with that enthusiasm your interest is better than your talent and that mm. will only take you forward so yeah that's kind of mm. one advice i try to give to my daughter <laughs> although she yeah. doesn't yeah. listen to me as much but still <laughs> <laughs> oh she is just 2 years old like uh, uh, even if my parents has to call me and talk to me okay they will lot of time they will say you don't listen So, <laughs> so for the kids yeah that's always uh, what the parents has to blame for okay so uh, you know mm, the genex obviously career genex is like uh, they require a lot of validations yeah yeah mm. definitely so yeah we we now i i now i consider myself as a you know uh, like a from a very old <laughs> age now okay so Uh, when i when i look at myself and then i think um, oh, a lot of people questions like uh, what actually motivates why 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 you are doing this all, all these questions which uh, people come and ask right so obviously i don't have an answer and uh, uh, explaining the passion okay explaining uh, it's very difficult to basically justify what you are doing yeah, now yeah, yeah. the only yeah the, uh, then what i see, when i sit down and i think about it then what comes in, inside my mind is uh it's just like uh, you want to do something good okay uh, not for not to showcasing others just to uh, make your own is the not to give a validation to others but to get uh, get the validation for myself yeah, so yeah. that i can understand whether i'm doing something good or you know i'm just uh, uh, sitting sitting down just uh, wasting my time and all so and uh, what also happens is like uh, obviously everybody follows their idols right uh, those people who inspire so uh, we only look at the uh, that uh, good phases in their life with the, which we get inspired but not all are aware of their hardships like oh, how they went through all the struggles all those failures and all so maybe i think like uh, if i have to teach my let's say my nephew okay if i have to teach my nephew then i basically tell him to go and study the you know his history like say if he's uh, he loves elon musk hmm yeah so i say go and study the f- where from where he started what all f- difficulties he faced and all then once they start understanding okay you will have those difficulties okay those challenges those struggles then they will know that this is the part of life and they will not be demotivated yeah they will then they will understand like uh, you know what i'm saying is if our teacher used to say uh, where do you want to see yourself 10 years after 10 years so nowadays people are like i want to do everything in one year <laughs> right so uh all those stay in your heart sleep and all they is obviously not everybody feels like you know it's too overwhelming rather, rather than let's go to the beach and have some beer why should why should neglect that place and say i don't want to go there i want to study so 
anyway <laughs> we i think uh, that happens with me every time i go very philosophy <laughs> <laughs> no, no i mean people actually just just i mean that is the unfortunate human tendency that people do learn it the hard way only even if someone will come and tell you that hey uh, don't go and uh, do or you know do x x y z stuff um only when you go and hit a loss on yourself you like learn it and then you keep in mind so it's very you know hard to you know be, become that wise and learn from other mistake but yeah that's what people say uh do mistakes as early as possible so that you can learn and uh move ahead definitely yeah like you know uh with this all this candid conversation now i have a lo- lot of videos that i have to still upload okay <laughs> so Oh uh, yeah, I get I get this feedback. People saying that such you don't upload daily. Okay. Mm. Then then I asked why. Okay. They say that it will not reach uh, reach out to people when you are uploading daily. Mm. Then I said, okay. uh, if I have to concentrate on videos, then who is going to do my office work? My boss is going to kill me. <laughs> uh, so uh, and also you know uh, it's not it's not like uh, I am trying to reach out to people. Okay, those people who wants to learn, they will, they have to reach out. Why should I go and say, guys, I'm here, come and I'm going to teach you. That, that it will be the reverse case, right? So yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Karen, yeah, social media trend and all the things. I basically don't buy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I mean this is more like dopamine people do get, right? Like because of mm. a quick uh, spike when they start getting onto Instagram reels and all. Yeah, mm. that that quick spike of interest they get, mm. and it kind of takes away the focus. Can't believe. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 that is the main. I think uh, if I if I have to go to that motivation path, okay, then what happens is initially you are getting some traction, okay, and then people are appreciating you. Then you feel like yes, I am doing good, okay, and suddenly that uh, phase will they will reach a threshold or saturation. Then people will say. Oh, I get this kind of uh, information everywhere, and that if the person start demotivating, he saying, "Oh, now pe- people don't like me." Oh, okay, you know, and then you stop. Uh, then you then you are lost, right? That is the phase. Uh, that is struggle where, where big people are made. So anyway, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. <laughs> so coming back to you, you started uh, your career with Infosys, right? Yeah. uh how was the environment then because you know i saw you who started infosys in 2009 i am from 2010 batch oh wow okay just yeah, yeah just one year behind you <laughs> so uh and uh, why i'm asking this question is because that time there was a recession it yeah so uh, recruitment campusing in the campus okay recruitment and all there was a sudden very dangerous hit and 2008 you know uh, i i believe you your seniors and all they have faced that uh, we go for we basically vouch on those recruitment that happens in our campus yeah right and uh, uh, a lot of people have seen all those hardships at that moment so you are from 2009 so if you can explain uh, how was your uh uh recruitment okay and uh, what about your final days in the college you you are in the final year and all save us with save us this experience because uh, at this current juncture i think it makes more sense uh okay so i mean being honest uh, uh those days in 2009 so i joined in forces in november 2009 our mm-hmm. joining was delayed for a couple of months but because that was more because of the you know, number of batches joining in courses at the same time and all um, and we somehow survived uh, that 2008 uh, recession or the hard time uh, but our seniors did uh, you know kind of suffer that and it um, because we got uh, you know the offer letter of a company came to our campus almost in the year 2008 and mm. uh, we had like wait for one year so around third year itself we used to i mean i i don't know what is happening right now in terms of like when people go through interviews and all but uh, mm. during our in third year we used to get the offer letter or we or, or we used to get selected wait for one mm. year and after passing out of fourth year we used to go and join the colleges 
but overall what i can like share in terms of recession it is definitely something hard and no level of you know guidance or no level of you know consoling words can you know kind of ease people down it is there mm -hmm. and it will be there for almost a year it's only there that you know what you can plan in advance uh, mm -hmm. and kind of cope up with these kind of times so what someone mm -hmm. can do uh, because someone was chatting with me early on the same topic that okay what to do what not to do kind of thing he was not i mean he was almost two to three years of experience and he was just trying to understand what can be done best into these kind of times so what are you know general or whatever like outcome of the discussion was like number one uh be ready for the worst in terms of okay if i have got skill a or b if i am onto marketing cloud um i should actually be ready to you know start learning more skills around say like project management or qa or testing so like so that if tomorrow if my company has to understand like okay where is my skill set lies they know that this person is not just marketing cloud techie where uh, we might have to you know uh, select few people but this guy also has got qa and pm kind of skill set as well so number one is how to get you know add more skill sets and uh, second is how to add more uh, you know um, folks in your network who can help you when the difficult time arises i mean i just hope if, that mm. we are able to you know sail through but only when you got people in your network who can um, not saying just help but who show up Mm, Because not yeah. even my team to help you, you know. Hey, I have I got a job for you. I'll I'll actually recommend you here and there. But people show up and they listen to you and they try to understand. Okay, what are you going through? It also helps you and keep your mind sane and keep your mind in balance and mm. uh, kind of sail through all of these yeah uh, challenges. True. So, yeah. Uh, what what I see see I study I even research study recession and everything right. <laughs> so. uh what happens is yeah def definitely there will be lot of streamline uh, that organization will go through uh, during this phase of the slowdown and uh, uh, you have to basically not be in the tendency of switching the companies at that moment you should basically yeah. you know uh, keep your profile better low okay and stick to the company okay maybe create a depend dependency in your project in such a way that uh, they have to think 10 times of uh, uh, thinking about you right so uh, creating dependency in the project is one of the most important thing that you can do okay and uh, what happens is once this phase slow downs okay and then again like if i give an example actually 2006 was the bubble start yeah okay? so the 2006 spike is very slow but the 2007 and 2008 spike becomes more danger okay and then uh, 2009 then they start okay now now we are going to be in the stable state okay and then from 2010 it speak uh, it speaks up because it can't be like in always in the downtrend it has to spike up right. so uh, for us when we were in 2010 hmm, when cognizant came into came us for recruitment uh, they they came for, say around uh, april may in the month of april may okay yep. and uh, we had an exam around uh, say uh, june july okay as soon as the uh, exam was complete okay the, forget about the results exam is complete we were asked to join so yep. a lot of my friends uh, they didn't even visited that place after like you are staying in a hostel okay and you are doing exams exams are complete hmm. so within one week they got a joining letter and they said okay you have to come and join so that was the demand that happened so after the slowdown yep. there becomes a huge demand that actually spikes up so i would say everyone to basically just hold their horses right and stick there and suddenly uh, after all this slowdown there will be a spike and then you can leverage the spike and do whatever uh, you want to do after that definitely in fact i know one of the senior and uh, he was mentioning that he got impacted uh, both the times in the earlier recession like 2008 and the one earlier which happened and he said that in the larger scheme of things it won't much matter like you will actually say law oh, no one is i mean it is not the end of the world for any of one of us it's just that to 
um, it it would be difficult period for a couple of months, but then you will find some place or you will not be impacted first in, in the event of the situation. But even if it happens, you will find a place. And within six eight months, when things start you know onto a better uh, trajectory, you will find the pace in your career as well. So it is not the end of the world for anyone. And it actually came from one of my senior like I told. So he told, yeah, don't don't worry as much, and yeah, things will pass by. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh that one might be one of the inspiration for people that there are people who actually survived and though they got affected they made their place again yeah. right yeah so just yeah uh, we can we don't want to go into different uh, direction with this discussion uh you know talking about like uh, how many people they everybody is after i have so much of emi i have my child to you know so i have yeah. a loan and all so god bless them uh okay yeah. uh coming back to you hmm. so what was the environment in infosys you know oh, we all i idolize uh, you know him murti so so yeah, murti you know uh, i mean that was the you know first uh, kind of a big world exposure for me because in 2009 i was in jaipur it was like a tie to city so we haven't seen uh, like how like bang I mean like how big cities like Bangalore or like places are. I was into Mysore uh, for my six months training into GDCs and all, and uh, I I kind of remember like one uh, discussion with my friend I had at that point of time 2009 kindish that um, um, I asked that okay how do you do your like you know hands on activities how are you learning all that Java .NET stuff so he said yeah we have our own computer so we go there and we can save our work and we go back so i told okay you all have your own computer so i was so amazed because that was my understanding okay no like it was, it was a big thing then like dude you come here then see what this kind of uh what this kind of place is and to share because like whenever you like kind of edit uh this uh episode do bring in a picture of uh gdc measure then like people understand that how big or how much of like um efforts Infosys has made specifically in kind of uh, you know training people coming into the ecosystem and how big that place is and uh, things like that so yeah i mean i i kind of went there and the first time when i entered mysore campus i was like awestruck and to see all the big buildings and uh, they have their building in the shape of Infosys, like i n f o s y s it's like the buildings through a drone shot mm -hmm. through either so you can see that it was just mm -hmm. better, pretty good environment, and that's where I learned that you know, just how the I mean, that's how big the world is, and a uh, lot to learn and a lot to do out there. And uh, and Murti and uh, Nam out there, they were pretty big inspiration on how to stay humble and still achieve mm -hmm. big things. So, they yeah. I mean, they are like a good example uh, of, okay. of, all, of all these values, obviously. I think, yeah, Sudha Murti, ma'am. <laughs> she is obviously more inspiration uh, that uh, current uh, if if you see her videos and all then uh, yeah, it's like yeah. uh, the the woman behind infosys <laughs> so uh, see and if you st study her story also you you'll understand like uh, when she started an ngo going to a village okay uh, she actually she had dressed up with uh, maybe a skirt or jeans what she was saying Okay. And she wanted to help the people. She wanted to go to the village and help them. And yeah. uh, they were basically not properly communicating with her. And uh, then she felt, I'm doing, I want to do something good. But why these people are not able to connect with me? So her father advised her that uh, you, if you want to connect, you have to be like them, a simple people. Right? Then they started. Then she started wearing, wearing sari. So the story of uh, why she started or uh, wearing sari then uh, that suit and all uh, the story itself is a very big lesson for everyone uh. oh yeah <laughs> i mean she was a very strong character and uh, uh, i am falling short of memory uh Hashi, but what i have also read was she was like one of the first woman engineer in uh, tata motors in pune so oh yeah right she yeah, she but... used to yeah uh, okay, uh, if you if you are bringing that topic, I I study people very deeply. So <laughs> whatever if you ask me any topic, okay, and if I've studied, then it's not like I just studied on the top. Uh, so she used to work with Jamshedji Tata in her office, okay, in Mumbai. 
so at that office uh, when she resigned okay she was asked why you are resigning and when uh, narayan murthy was basically uh, he was he had started uh, co-founding this uh, infosys she she was the main backbone uh, for to giving the inspiration to go and open the company and uh, uh, once uh, basically they open up okay uh, they open up and they basically met uh, they went to the tata house okay and they met with the chairman so that's why they have a very good rapport with uh, rotten tata and all so that viral image that goes when uh, narayan murthy goes and you know or uh, toss his trot is the feet of rotten tata and all so <laughs> why that is viral the, there is a story behind it okay yep, yep, yep. so inspiration that came was from uh, like uh, uh, what jamshed ji tata said when she was leaving the company hmm. so everything everything is an inspiration uh, if i have to go i don't want to go there because it, it will become more uh, i can talk yeah. about her for more than five hours because you know uh, i read people i listen to them <laughs> uh, very religiously uh, more than i think i have uh, read about her more than 5 years so <laughs> i can talk <laughs> for 5 years about her and okay it was a great inspiration yeah in any, any given day the kind of culture they had yeah mm. so uh, now you now you are actually the b2c architect in salesforce 